Hi, this is Frank Buck, and this is the place to be if you want to get organized and make it look easy. Last week, I showed you how to use Zoom to record videos just like the one that you're watching now. But what if you make mistakes while you're recording? Well, trust me, you will. But just keep going. Pause and look at the camera, and then back up a sentence or two and just try again. This week, I'll show you how to edit the video. The basic thing is just simply knowing how to cut out the bad parts, the mistakes or the long pauses. I use Shotcut. It's a free video editor for Windows, and I'm gonna share my screen and just show you exactly how it works. Once you've downloaded and opened Shotcut, it's gonna look like what you see on the right-hand side of the screen. Over on the left-hand side, here's a little clip that I made from a, a Zoom meeting. Now, when you finish recording that Zoom meeting or when you end the meeting, it's going to automatically process your files right there on your computer. You'll see it happening on the desktop and you're gonna wind up with three files. The one that you want is gonna say something like, usually Zoom-0. I made a copy of that, that's why mine says Zoom-1. If you don't see it on the desktop, then go down and just search for Zoom and you see this folder that appears. I'll double click there and there's every Zoom project that I've created. You'll be able to look at the date to see the one that you're looking for. Double click it and you'll see the three files in there, one called audio only, one called playback and one called Zoom-0. The Zoom-0 again is the one that you want. So let's say it's time for me to edit. I've opened Shotcut. I'm going to say Open File, and I'm going to navigate to where this clip is located. In this case, a little folder called New Folder. Here it is. We'll say Open. And now I'll drag down to... All right, this is just a quick demo. Uh, notice I paused there yeah. a little at the beginning, and we would cut this out if this was the real thing. In fact, uh, let's say everything that you're hearing up to this point, we're gonna cut out, and now this is maybe what I would start if I was. All right, so let's show you how to cut out some things. Uh, I found very quickly there are about two, two keyboard shortcuts that I need to use. One, plays and pauses, and it's just simply hitting the space bar. I hit the space bar. Actually talking to you. It starts, first I hit just the pause space bar and smile, again, and it pauses. The other one is hitting the letter S to split the playhead. In other words, uh, if there was a section that I wanted to cut out, I would split the playhead right before and right after that section, both by hitting the letter S. So uh, we, we have this clip down on the timeline. Let me drag it back to the beginning again and we'll do a little bit of editing. All right, I just click down here on the timeline and let's start. And see, definitely we want to cut all this out at the beginning. Right, this is just a quick demo. Uh, notice I paused there a little at the beginning and we would cut this out if this was the real thing. In fact, uh, let's say everything that you're hearing up to this point, we're going to cut out. And now this is maybe what I would start if I was actually talking to you. First, just pause and smile. And let's say there. So I just right, hit the letter S. Buck, and this okay, is let's the stop it. Let me back up and show you what's happened here. We'll just play a little bit of talking to you. First, just pause and smile. And I'd hit the letter S right there. Hi, this is Frank Buck, and this is the beginning of the... So, now what's going to happen is, now that I've split that playhead, I can click over here and highlight that section, everything up to the split. I right-click, I say remove. Now, let me drag the playhead back. Hit the space bar. Hi, this is Frank Buck, and this is the beginning of the video that we're going to show you. Yeah, I would just cut out using Shotcut everything up until that point, and you're going to mess up. I mean, even if, if I said my name and Frank, uh, well, uh, well, don't worry. Just keep going. Keep going, because mm -hmm. you can always That's cut the out the parts I can that give you don't for like. You. And when you find you mess up, just pause and smile. Regain your thoughts. Take a deep breath. And then pause and look at the camera again and begin. Right, now I want to show you one thing. 
you notice that when I paused, I was also silent. And look what's happening down here on the timeline. You can pretty much tell when I'm silent uh, by the peaks and valleys. All of this is, is silent. So you can pretty well tell where you can cut and get everything up until where I start talking again. And then pause and look at the camera again and begin. It'll be very easy to see where you can cut out and leave the good parts. It's especially good when you're, um, oh, never mind, forget that. Okay, now let's cut out some of that never mind, forget that. So let's, uh, let's drag it back here and let's see what we might want to cut out. Pause and look at the camera again and begin. It'll be very easy to see where you can cut out and leave the good parts. It's especially good when you're, um, yeah, so I'm hemming and hawing. Let's, um, where you can cut out and leave the good parts. It's there, especially maybe. good when you're, um, oh, never mind, forget that. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Okay, now let's pick up right there where I start the new sentence. I hope you've enjoyed this very short video. Yeah, so you can see that I cut, uh, I split the playhead here and here. So that means I can click, right click, say remove, and leave the good parts. I hope you've enjoyed this very well, short actually, demonstration that wasn't too bad. on how you can do some video editing. And notice I paused and smiled there at the end so that we can get a nice, uh, decide where it ends and, and see, cut it out. End, I and could uh, cut out some of that if we wanted to. And probably the part I would want to get rid of, it's where you see I'm not really saying anything. We could probably safely go S right there. And I could just drag it down to here. And let's try splitting the playhead there. And getting rid of that that's in the middle. Let's hear what that might sound like on how you can do some video editing. And notice I paused and smiled there at the end so that we can get a nice, uh, decide where it ends and cut it out. And, and we'll just cut all this part out. So <laughs> thanks for watching. I'm going to stop recording and uh, Zoom is automatically going to take this and turn it into something I can now put in shot cut. So thanks. All right, and notice uh, I'm sort of fumbling uh, with the button to end the recording and all that sort of stuff. Uh, so let's back up and cut out that last little part. Let me see where would be a good part where I'm paused and looking at the camera where we could automatically going to take this and turn it into something I can now put in shot cut. So thanks. Mm, I think I missed it. Let's back up a little bit before that something I can now put in shot cut. So thanks. And maybe there. Okay, so I split the playhead. And so I'm able to cut out now this last little part. Automatically going to take this and turn it into something I can now put in shot cut. So thanks. All right, and there's my video. So first of all, I can uh, go up and say file and save or save as. But what you really need to know is how to export this so that you can then put it into YouTube. So uh, mine already has the export uh, there for you if that had not appeared. So let's say, let's, uh, let's exit out of that. If I just simply went to file and export video, then you get what you saw before. So I'm going to scroll down and I'm looking for YouTube. And now this is important. Once I click on YouTube, click on advanced. And what you want to do is change this aspect ratio to 16 to nine, just like mine is right now. And then when I click export file, uh, it's going to shot cuts going to do its thing and it's going to wind up on your desktop, just sort of um, like the clip that you had seen earlier. Uh, I'll go ahead and click export. It's asking you for a name. I'll call this maybe demo. I'll say save it on the desktop. And you'll start to see the progress 
up in the upper right hand corner right now it says it's 30 percent uh it's 50 percent of course the longer the video you make the longer it's going to take uh, it's up to 80 percent and it now says it's finished as an mp4 and if i look at my desktop here it is right here let's play it Hi, this is Frank Buck, and this is the beginning of the video that we're going to show you. Yeah, I would just cut out using Shotcut everything up until that point, and you're going to mess up. I mean, even if, if I said my name and Frank, uh, well, uh, well, don't worry. Just keep going. Keep going, because you can always cut out the parts that you don't like. And when you find you mess up, just pause and smile. Regain your thoughts. Take a deep breath. And then pause and look at the camera again and begin. It'll be very easy to see where you can cut out and leave the good parts. I hope you've enjoyed this very short demonstration on how you can do some video editing. And notice I paused and smiled there at the end so that we can get a nice, uh, decide where it ends and cut it out. And, and we'll just cut all this part out. So thanks for watching. I'm going to stop recording and uh, Zoom is automatically going to take this and turn it into something I can now put in Shotcut. So, thanks. There it is, there's your finished product. So at this point, I would just simply go to YouTube and upload it, that's sort of a, a different lesson for a different day. So to this point, you've learned from last week's video how to take and record a meeting in Zoom. And then this week, how to take that meeting and edit it down to something that you could put into YouTube. Uh, this is something that the more you practice, the better you can get. So don't wait till you're perfect. Go in and jump in today. Thanks for stopping by. This has been Frank Buck, helping you get organized and make it look easy.